Hey guys, this is Naresh. So in this video, we will see how to work with the menus in any website. So I have created a sample website and let me show you that website. Okay, so this is a sample website, SQE Automation. There's a page, sample HTML page. If you scroll down, you will see in this form, there is a menu called text, which has three options, option one, option two, and option three. Okay, so it might possible or it might happen when you're working on any project, there's a need to select something into that menu. And what we do in the code now, you will select an item in this menu and then we will click on the submit button. Okay, so let's see how to write a code for that. So here I have written some code already, which you know that we have to set the system property. We have to initialize our driver and we have to open some page. So here I have given the URL for the sample page. Okay. And then there's a command to maximize that window like driver.manage.window.maximize. So what it will do, let's say if my sample page open, you know, it's not maximized. It will go ahead and first maximize the window so that we are able to access all the element of the page. Okay. And now what we have to do, we have to choose this option one, two or three. We can choose any option, but for that we have to find a locator. So our strategy remain the same. We have to do a right click on this and we have to click on inspect. Okay. So once we click on inspect, it will open up a source window in front of us. Let me click it one more time. Okay. And it has given me the tag select it has selected the tag select but what i will do i will try to use this locator id which is g11 text1 and this is id so that's mean i can use that into my code so let's see how we can use that into our code for selecting an option in the menu so i will type here select then select my equal to new select okay and under this I have to give my locator so I will type driver dot find element by dot ID and I need to give the ID here okay so let me just copy the ID from this So what I have done here, I have given the ID for my select class. So it seems one bracket is missing in this. Okay, so I got the locator of the select class. Now what I have to do, I have to select some option into that menu. So for selecting an option, I have to type select my dot select by index. Let's assume I want to choose the option two. In this so it starts from 0 and then uh, you know 0 1 2 so 2 means it will select the third option okay and once I do that I need to click on that button which we have seen earlier so this is the button so let's see what its locator is okay so its input type is submit there is no ID for that but there is a class given for that and so what I will do because there's no ID given I will try to use the X path and try to locate this element okay so I have to give the command web element my button equal to then I will give driver dot find element and then I will give by dot x path now we will write an x path expression for writing the XPath expression, what is the best way I consider? Once you go to the source page, do a control F and here you can write your XPath expression. So XPath expression, because we are giving a relative XPath, it will start with double slash and then we have to give the tag name, which was the input tag name. Okay. And then because we know that has a class, so we will give its attribute as class. So I will give at the rate class equal to and let me see what the class name it, it has okay so it's set it has push button wide okay so I will copy this 
and I will type here push button Y and I will close the brackets and you will see it has uniquely selected this button onto the screen okay so I will copy this X path from this and I will put it here within the double quotes okay so this is the way I can get the hold of an element so I have to make E as capital here so that the error can go away okay and once I get the hold of that element I can simply do a click on that And we will try to run this program now. <clears throat> so it has opened the browser and we'll try to open the URL in this. First, it will maximize the window as per code. So it has selected option 3 and clicking on submit button. And you can see the option 3 has, you can see the option 3 here. When you click on the submit button, it shows us which option you have selected. Alright guys, so this is a way how we can use our uh, select class to, to select anything from the menu which is on the website. So very simple line of code. There are other methods also besides select by index. Let me show you that. So instead of index, I can give something else also. Select my dot. So you will see different options. Uh, you know, we have select which select method is providing. That is deselect all, deselect by index or, you know, it can give it all options to us like get options. So it will return all the list the complete list of that menu and then we can traverse through that list and uh, there are some more uh, things here given so you can just go through these methods one by one so that you can know more about that but this is one of the way through which we have done by by calling select by index all right so that's it for this video thank you guys oh, you know, oh, I know, oh, I know, no.